Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're gonna to take a look at galaxies, colors of every kind, kind of break down each track, kind of what I did effects wise, and uh, I hope you guys like it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and here we go. Right, galaxy colors of every kind so let's start out with the drums you can see this actually this song doesn't have a lot of tracks um, and, and with the drums I use GarageBand to build the drums I do it to a click I have a scratch guitar scratch vocal sort of build it there and then I import the drums into studio one which is what we're looking at here so you end up with just a stereo drum track and all I end up really doing to it is just add some EQ uh, it looks like I just a lot of times I just take out the the bass on this one so all the reverb all the effects are already there so let's just take a look at that so you can see it's already got a little reverb on it um, one thing that I do here and I like to do this sort of during transitions and this is sort of the the Pink Floyd sort of That's what that is right there, um, which is just taking a symbol and just re uh, reversing it and then like kind of a fade in, so it's a backward symbol. Uh, let's take a look at the bass. And with the bass, I basically go direct in and there's very little I end up having to do on the bass besides uh, some compression, as you can see here. So we could hear the core sort of rhythm there. In this song, I just basically drop out the verse. Normally I would clean all this up, but sometimes uh, I am a little lazy, so that yeah, I didn't even end up cleaning it up. So there's your bass and drums for this. Pretty uh, standard. Uh, all the vocals are up here, and you can even see here still the, the scratch guitar and scratch vocal that came in from GarageBand, and then the click. Uh, so let's take a look at what I ended up doing here. It looks like I used two mics. I had a condenser, which is right up front, and then I had this uh, second mic that I called a room mic. So you can see it's further away and it has a little bit more ambience, and so together you end up with this. And so I even have additional reverb. It looks like I added on each of them. And then, of course, I had to just sort of EQ a little, a little of the mids, a little of the highs, and so then you end up with that. Then when it comes down to the breakdown, you can see that I ended up creating another track, and that's because I add chorus on, I think it's the one that's direct. Yeah, so there's actually a little bit of a chorus effect just on the condenser mic in the room I didn't touch. So then that is... So there's a difference with and without. You can hear as I toggle it on and off. It definitely does give it a different sound. So it just changes it up sort of at that breakdown. Then also, uh, and some of this is kind of a little discovery for me because I haven't heard this in a while, like broken down like this. So I use my Les Paul to double. Definitely sounds like I have a little bit of a chorus effect. And I remember I did use, I have on my Les Paul, I have that coil tap, so I can go from humbucker to single coil. So this would be the single coil, slightly just with the volume down into a Marshall JMP. It's a 1979 Marshall. So the preamp up, but my volume is back down, single coil, little uh, chorus, and this is what you get. Yeah, so just sort of like kind of beefs it up a little bit at that part. Then for the sort of like what's called that like riff, like the signature riff, it looks like I used my Strat, which I don't even remember that. It, but I do remember it was an MXR Phase 90 turned up really high to get that sort of wobbly sound. <laughs> I 
again, you could see I didn't even clean up anything in here when I'm not playing. Sometimes I do. It's all the, it just kind of depends on if there's a lot of noise. Um, so that is your basic core guitar acoustic. So it basically took three gu different guitars, and that's that's something that's nice if you can ever do that. If you can have another guitar for each track, it sort of gives you uh, just a, a different sound. And then at the end, I use my Strat, and this is sort of the slide ending. So that does sound like chorus, and then I use a Deluxe Memory Man. I had a really long delay there, so you can hear it sort of uh, uh, delaying out a lot. So yeah, that's just that slide guitar. Then this was, I remember when I was doing the slide at the end, kind of playing around with it, I started to get my guitar to feed back with the delay and that's what this is so that sound you hear is just my you know basically getting the deluxe memory man to endlessly repeat and just sort of messing with it and then i just basically faded it in and that's where you get that sort of weird sound at the end there so yeah that's it i mean there's not that many tracks that make up this song there are a lot of vocals i mean it, it toward the end it's a five-part harmony so you can see here, here's the main lead. Nothing but the satellites. So there, you know, there's a kind of a, a almost of like a delay reverb that's on there. EQ wise, this is sort of a standard EQ I use pretty much on all my songs. And then I never really use a ton of compression. But you can see this is the basic compression that I use on that. And that's what makes up the a distant sun explodes. It just sounds like I'm in kind of a smaller room. Then for the very end, this is where I start out with a, I think it's like a falsetto, kind of high. <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically like a two-part harmony there. And so then each time the idea with the song is just sort of build it. This is sort of the kind of Beach Boys pet sounds influence in me. I like these sort of stack vocals. So it's basically, one, you know, two, three, five. <laughs> just skip the four there in, in adding vocals. So then the, you can see here. So this is like adding a mid one. So that one's in between the high falsetto and the sort of, not even really low, but just lower than that. Then when it all comes in, that's when I'm going to add a really high falsetto and then definitely the low there. So then what you end up with in the end is a five part harmony. Yeah, so that is it. That is Galaxy Colors of Every Kind. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.